What's going on, everybody? I'm Tank, and this is another episode of Roadie Reactions. In today's reaction video, I am once again going to be checking out a band for the very first time. And that band is called The Zenith Passage. And to be honest, I really don't know much about this band at all. I don't know how long they've been around. I don't know if this music video that we're going to check out is from an upcoming album or EP or anything like that. The only key piece of information that I have about this band is that it's mostly made up of ex-members of The Faceless. And for any metalheads out there that are familiar with The Faceless, we know they've had a lot of member turnover, but everybody that's played in that band is fantastic at what they do so i'm really curious to check this out and i'll fully admit man i'm familiar with the faceless i'm not a super diehard fan i don't know everybody's names of you know the people that were in the band so i may not recognize some of these guys but i do know that they were in the faceless so that's the kind of music i'm expecting i'm expecting technical death metal something along the lines of that or archspire or fallujah or something but I could be wrong, and since I don't know anything else, let's just jump in. I will link this original video in the description below, and today, for the very first time ever, I'm going to be checking out The Zenith Passage and listening to their brand new song and music video, Synaptic Deprivation. Let's go! Oh, tech death for sure. <laughs> I love the bass work that was going on there. Oh, somebody wants to get sued by Disney. Really quick, I'm just going to stop. Um, there are a couple members that right away I recognize from the Faceless. Um, I did know uh, Justin McKinney, one of the guitar players. Um, I was aware he was in this band and he was also in the face, uh, faceless more recently. I think he joined in like the mid 2010s or something, but I watch him, uh, pretty often on Twitch because I just like his guitar playing. Um, and he is in this band. Um, he's playing, which is fun. coming into this video. I was actually joking with some friends. I was like, any band in the tech death realm, it's almost a guarantee they're playing Kiesel guitars <laughs> and both guitars are playing Kiesels. Now, Justin is playing one of their V's and they have a couple. I think that one's called, oh, I don't know if that's the ultra V or just the regular type V because one of them is a, a V body like that, that has a headstock. And the other one is a headless guitar, but he's obviously playing the one with the headstock. I think it's an ultra V and I don't know terribly much about the specifics of Kiesel's uh, model wise and stuff like that. I'm more familiar with the company overall, but I'd be willing to bet that the pickups in that guitar are Kiesel's own branded pickups because they do make their own guitar pickups in-house rather than using other companies and putting them in the guitars. 
Now, that's not to say that Justin didn't swap him out or put other pickups in there that he wanted. But, um, so that's Justin playing the V. The other guitar player, who I can't say I recognize or am familiar with, is playing an Aries from Kiesel, one of the more popular body designs that you'll see. And again, I would be willing to guess that those are in-house Kiesel pickups in that guitar. Since I don't know terribly much about the specific models, we'll talk about Kiesel a little more later. But uh, as far as the other members, um, I believe that's Brandon uh, Griffin or Giffen. Uh, he was in the Faceless for a while as the bass player and then came back and was in the band at the same time as Justin, as well as their vocalist. Now, their vocalist, Derek, is probably one of the most notable vocalists that the Faceless had. You can recognize that voice pretty quick if you listen to a lot of Tech Death or Death Metal or something like that. And again, same situation. He was with the band before and came back more recently. So Justin, Derek, and Brandon were in the Faceless together at one point. Now they're all in the same band together. Let's keep going. Bass lines, man. So he must not have had this drummer for the or the drummer for the video because we're just getting quick flashes and stuff of him on screen. Um, so let's go back to Brandon really quick playing bass. I'm loving the bass work a lot. Like it's it's really standing out. It's really prominent in the mix. You don't have to listen hard for it. It's all there. And he's using a Ernie Ball Music Man Stingray Five. Uh, the Stingrays are one of the most notable, recognizable basses in the history of bass guitars. Uh, they were originally made in the 70s, and then the five-string models came out in the 80s. And there's a reason that you see a lot of bass players using them, because they sound fantastic. They play fantastic. They feel good. Um, and I just, I, I'm a huge fan of the work that he's doing on this song. This this has way more groove than I think I was expecting. I, was ex I think I was expecting this to be just more brutal in your face, just f***ing headbang your ass off and get fired up. There's a lot of groove in this, and I'm really liking it. I'm spending more time really sitting and just focusing on what I'm hearing and what's going on rather than, you know, just doffing the hat and headbanging and shit, you know? So let's go back to Kiesel really quick because, as we talked, both guitar players are using Kiesel. Kiesel has a really long history. Um, while the actual guitar company has only been around for about seven years, they're founded in 2015. It goes all the way back to the Carvin Company or the Carvin Corporation. Um, Lowell Kiesel founded Carvin originally in the 40s. And I believe when they first started, they were making guitar pickups. But it eventually got into audio equipment and stuff like that. And when Carvin was formed, 
they had a very good reputation for their audio products at amps and cabinets and PA stuff and stuff like that. But they also started making guitars at one point. Well, in 2015, they decided to completely split off guitar production and start Kiesel. That is the new brand that makes all of the Carvin stuff. And since then, I've got to say, I've I've seen Kiesel all over the metal community, man. I think since Carvin split off to do the Kiesel branded stuff, their name has become very big and very popular. And there's a lot of big name players that play those guitars and speak very highly of them. I've never teched for anybody on the road that's using one, so I've never had my hands on one in a work setting. But every single person I've ever talked to that plays one has said that they're absolutely fantastic. So high quality company, good name. Um, I think that's that's it for anything gear related that I was going to talk about. So there's uh, like three minutes left in the song. I'm just going to sit here and take it all in, I think. out there and I really like it. The song name is fitting. <laughs> is this going? <laughs> Alright, Justin. trip man let me think about this for a second and then let's go talk about it bands like this one are really mood bands for me um for my personal taste i don't think this is something that i could just throw on at any time and be in the mindset and you know frame of mind to really absorb it and take it all in this is stuff that I've got to be in a really particular mood for because music like this, I really like to pay attention to. I like to hear every little thing that's going on because as you could hear while you're listening, there are a lot of little subtleties that are kind of not necessarily hidden in there, but you may not pick up on in the first time. This is a song that I could probably sit here and listen to three times in a row and catch more and more stuff. And I really dig this with music at times. And while I may not listen to it all the time, this was definitely enough to make me want to go check out more from this band and see a lot of other stuff they've done. And even all of that being said, that I have to be in that certain mind frame for bands like this, I absolutely appreciate the musicianship of 
everybody in bands like this, man. I mean, I watch musicians like this and I question why I ever wanted to start playing music. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like there are people that get so good at their instruments that you're like, why did I even waste my time trying? Because I'm never going to get that good. And you know, the funny thing about that is I may have the potential to get that good. I just don't have the patience to sit and, you know, develop my skills and stuff. Because when you see players like this, this is years and years and hours and hours of sitting and practicing and focusing on your craft, man. You know, we see all these uh, guitar videos on YouTube that are like, the you know, the really fast ways to get better at guitar and blah, blah, blah. There are no easy ways to get better at making music and being good at your instrument. It's dedication and hours and hours of practice at your craft, man. And that's what I really appreciate about bands like this and musicians like this is I understand how much time they've put into practicing their skill. And I appreciate it a ton, even if the music is not something I'm just going to go out of my way to listen to all the time. But I do have moods for this, and I am going to check out more from this band. And if anybody watched this for the first time and wants to check out more, check the description of this video. And like all of my videos, I'll have links to their social media and stuff where you can check out more from these guys. But I enjoyed myself, man. I thought it was pretty cool. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If this is your first time on this channel, feel free to click subscribe. If you enjoyed it, feel free to like and share. If you do both, thank you very much. This is YouTube. You guys know how all that stuff works. But most importantly, thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I'm on a ton of different social media. I have a Discord server we hang on. I have a Twitch that we stream on. And yeah, if you're interested in that, I'll throw more links in the description of the video. My handle on everything social media is at tank the tech. Thank you so very much for watching. I will be back very soon with another episode of Roadie Reactions.